Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your review of Manchester United versus Sheffield United. Now, before I want to get on to this review, all I want to say is congratulations to Liverpool FC winning their first ever Premier League title and their first domestic league title in 30 years. Absolutely well deserved. They've been phenomenal all season. No one's been able to compete with them and well deserving champions. It's going to be so weird the next match that the ex champions Manchester City will be given the newly crowned champions, the Guard of Honor. Going to be very strange. But anyway, on to this review. Manchester United won 3 0 against Sheffield United. At an empty Old Trafford Stadium. But all I'm going to say is. Them digital fans. What Manchester United did. Was absolutely fantastic. The best design of empty stadiums so far. In my opinion. I'm not just saying that because I'm a Manchester United fan. But even a lot of neutral fans agreed that. Old Trafford have the best layout of the empty stadiums at the moment. But as a game, I thought it was a very good performance by Manchester United. We played very, very well. We passed the ball well. The Amanda Matic played well. The whole team literally played well. It's just a really good performance. Sheffield United, they started the game well. But once Anthony Marshall scored that goal, the first goal, we looked absolutely comfortable. Anthony Marshall scored the second goal in the first half, made the score 2 0. So we looked in complete control. And then in the second half again, Anthony Marshall with another goal scored his first ever senior career hat trick and his first ever for Manchester United. Absolutely fantastic stuff. And the first Manchester United player to get a hat-trick since Robin Van Persie. So, that's absolutely fantastic news. Yep. Marcus Rashford should have scored a goal in the first half. He was unlucky not to score. But, I'm delighted with that next three. Anyway, let's get on to the player ratings. De Gea... Again, a six. He didn't have much to do because he was hardly tested. Aaron Wan-Bissaka, again, a second. Thought he defended very well. Harry Maguire, again, a second. Much better game than the Tottenham match. Victor Lindelof, again, a second. Thought he defended very well as well. Luke Shaw, again, a second. He was good. Lumanda Matic, Ogin Hassan, he was very, very good. Paul Pogba, Ogin Hassan, him and Bruno Fernandes absolutely linked up fantastically. Bruno Fernandes, Ogin Hassan, fantastic passing. Yep. Yeah. Mason Greenwood, Ogin Hassan, he looks very sharp. Marcus Rashford, also, I'll give him an 8 because he should have scored a goal, but getting it his all as always, like what he always does, Marcus Rashford. And Anthony Marshall, 11 out of 10. Fantastic performance by Anthony Marshall. If he plays like that every week, boy oh boy, I am excited. To see what he can do. I'll be back later on today. For the preview. Of the Norwich City and Manchester United game. In the FA Cup. Very much looking forward to that. Hopefully. We can win the FA Cup. Because it would be a nice trophy to win. I know Chelsea won last night. But Manchester United are very much still. In this top four race. Because Leicester are on. Poor form at the moment, so we could close the gap to them. 
Don't know what's happened to the Foxes. They were looking so comfortable in that Champions League spot, but it's falling away from them at the moment. My fucking hair. I need to sort it out and get it a wash. But anyway, what a win for Manchester United. 3-0. Bloody getting there. Fantastic. Let me know your comments down below who your man of match was. And I'll see you later in the Norwich vs Manchester United game. Bye-bye.